Hi everyone, happy Halloween. While we wait for everyone in the chat, today what we're doing is we are making some spooky toasts. So as we wait for all of our buddies to join, um, I hope everyone is gonna be having an amazing Halloween. Hi Gordon. Hi everyone. Hi Kelly. So we're just waiting for my buddy Julia to join me today. Hi Gordon, how are you doing buddy? Hi Natasha. How are you guys? Is everyone having a good Halloween? I hope everyone has some fun plans. Let's just wait a few minutes. Happy Halloween day. Yes, Gordon, happy Halloween day. Are you guys excited to have lots of candy tonight? Hi, Julia. Uh, let me just invite Julia. I see she's here. Julia, I'm not too sure if you got the invitation. To Perfect, hi. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. I'm good. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Do you have any food tonight? Ooh, it's exciting. I'm going to hand out some candy. So if you happen to find me, I'll give you lots. Hi. Fun. Oh, thanks. Do you guys like my costume? I decided I should get to the spirit. Oh, Gordon says he's ready for Halloween. He's going to his cousin's house. Oh, everyone has some good fun plans. Um, now, I got some pumpkins here that I wanted to show you guys. Last night, my family had a pumpkin carving competition. So, Julia, I want you to tell me, unbiased opinion, which one's your favorite, okay? There's four. So, I've got this one. I've got this one. I, I have this one and then this is my last one which one do you I'll guys think number is two and three number two and three well number two is my mother's number three is my sister so they're gonna love you honey okay so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be making oh julia left where did she go oh no maybe her internet disconnected now you guys i've been having a little bit of internet issues today so hopefully everything's going to be running great but in case something happens to live we will restart it right away okay oh let's see she's back sorry about that it's okay Okay, no problem. Okay, so you said you don't but have, I do have toast, a but I do have a cracker. Right. Perfect. Okay. So for everyone here, all we need is just we've got four types of toast. So whoever is going to be making, um, whichever you can pick and choose whichever one you want. We can make a Frankenstein first. We can make our ghosts first. We can make the mummy first, or we can make the spider web first. Now, Julia doesn't happen to have toast, but that's okay, because she's going to be using some pretty big crackers, and she can make the same thing. All good. Okay, everyone? So, Julia, which one do you feel like doing first? The one that's chocolate chip. Ooh, the one with the chocolate chip. Yeah, okay. So, for that one, we need peanut butter and banana. And I think the milk in the image that I showed you guys was with raisins, but I didn't have raisins. So I'm just going to use chocolate chips. Okay. Oh, yes, Gordon, you are doing a live on November 2nd. We're going to tune in and watch that because that looks like a lot of fun, very peaceful. Okay, so I have already pre toasted my toast. So for anyone who has not, you can go and do that right now. It takes just two minutes. You just Plop it in the toaster. I've got my other two ones on the other side of my kitchen right there in my toaster as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to start by peeling the banana. Ooh, this is a wonky looking banana, you guys. It's half mushy, so maybe I will use the other end. These are new bananas too. Julia, do you have a banana with you? 
No, but I have instead of peanut butter, I'm using cookie butter. Ooh, yum! So how are you th thinking of doing the ghosts? I'm using Kit Kat for it. Oh, there's some. I'm using Ouch music. It says sometimes I can put out the music play. Oh, okay. If it keeps booting you out, that might be because you have uh, background music. Do you have any background music? Well, not at the moment because I'm on campus right now. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So, sorry, what did you say you were using for the ghosts? I'm using Kit Kat. Oh, that's so cute. So, everyone, see Julia. If so even if you don't have an ingredient, it's perfectly fine, right? She's got crackers, she's got Kit Kats. It's amazing. So what I've just done is I peeled my banana. Okay, now I should show you guys this better. So I peeled my banana and then I just cut it in half and then I cut it another way like that. So I've got two sort of ghost shapes like this. Okay, so for everyone that's doing it, all you need to do, it's very simple. So I'm gonna show you with my more, I'm gonna lean you guys on a pumpkin here. Let's see if you guys see this. Ah. Okay, I'm just gonna show you like this. I'm holding it up. This is a little struggle. So you see this here? This is my little mushy looking banana. You're just gonna cut it through the center like that. So now you've got these ghost shapes. Now I can make, mm, this is my mushy side. So I'm not gonna use this side, but we have our shapes of our ghosts right there, all right? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is Julia's gonna use her cookie butter and I'm gonna use my peanut butter. And I'm just gonna spread some peanut butter evenly on this piece of toast. Now, if anyone's got any nut allergies, it does not need to be peanut, it could be any type of butter. I know I think there's wow butter, um, any nut free butter, you can use cookie butter like Julia. She had a great idea. Actually, I think I like, not that I don't like peanut butter, but I feel like I would like cookie butter more. I don't know. Julia, do you like cookie butter? Yeah, I like cookie butter because I can't, I can't eat peanut. Oh, yeah, I think we're So, yeah. for everyone that's allergic, it's just a lot more convenient. So, I've done my peanut butter like this. Use your cookie butter, any type of butter you got. Maybe not regular butter, but. I guess it could work, but we want to stick our bananas to it. So I've got my cookie butter. I'm just, not cookie butter, sorry, my peanut butter. I've spread my peanut butter on my toast. And now I'm just gonna place my quarters of my ghost like this. So, so if you guys can see, this is just what it looks like right here. Then, very, very, very simple. The chocolate chips do the job for you. I'm gonna get out six chocolate chips. Two for the eyes for each of them, and then one for the little mouth, because we want our ghost food, right? So I've got four, five, six. Okay, so get your chocolate chips, or whoever's got, or if you have raisins, raisins are good too. Maybe a little bit even healthier option, but. But what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna make place two like this for the eyes. And then, oops, oh my. Maybe I'll put the pointy side down like that to make the mouth. Ooh, what do you guys think? Does everyone think this looks like like um, a ghost? Julia, what do you think? I'm going to flip my camera. Does that yeah, look yeah, kind of like, like a, a ghost, ghost to you? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I don't know what everyone in the chat thinks, but hopefully that's kind of ghost-like. Now I'm just going to do my other ghost here. So I'm placing the two eyes together on them. I'm going to use the pointy part to stick it in the mouth. Oh, I think they look adorable. Oh, look, everyone. I think it's pretty cute. I think he's pretty cute. Very spooky. I th think I like it. So, 
what is everyone's favorite Halloween monster? Julia, do you have one? Is there a specific one that you like? Uh, not really. I think I like oh. all of them. Oh, no, yeah. What was everyone's favorite? Um, I know when I was a kid, I really liked uh, mummies really were really, really cool to me because when I was a kid, I don't know if anyone, I live in Toronto, so I went to the AGO with my dad when I was a lot younger, and we saw King Tut, so like um, the ancient Egyptian king, and we saw the mummy there, and ever since for like, I was like so in awe of it. So every time I saw mummies on Halloween, it was like, oh, it kind of like connected to my childhood there. <laughs> um, but I am done with this one. Oh, I know, Gordon, it is very cold outside today. I feel a little bit bad. Julia, especially for you when you trick or treat, that's, oh, not so fun. You might freeze a little bit. So make sure you bundle up, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but when I used to trick or treat all the time, I find every year on Halloween, the weather was just horrible. It's never good. And it would be, but I would trick or treat. I'd trick or treat in the cold. I trick or treat in the snow and the hail and the wind. So, Julia, I applaud you that you're trick or treating tonight because it looks pretty chilly. So, here, you're, you're a tough cookie. <laughs> so, this is their first ghost toast. Julia, how's yours going? love it so cute so are you doing like chocolate chips for your eyes no i'm i'm i did the kit oh, yeah. for my eyes you did the kit kat for your eyes oh that's yeah. i like it very nice oh okay so this is our first one julia do you have any of the ingredients for the other ones not really i only have the okay first one. so what we'll do is you'll just watch me and you can talk right keep me company yeah Okay, great. So this is our first one. Now, Julia, pick which one you want me to do next. Would you like me to do the spiders, the Frankenstein, or the mummy? The spider one. The spider one. Okay. So for the spider one, for everyone that's doing it, I've got some, like, tomato sauce. I'm Italian, so my grandmother made this one. But any type of tomato, puree, even... Okay. I'm gonna disgrace my Italian heritage, but if you put like ketchup or whatever, anything red for the bottom. Um, I've got a cheese string to try and make a little web shape because I thought cheese string would be easier to peel, right? And then I've got some olives to make the spider. So, oh, Gordon says, did you buy more Halloween candies for tonight? I did, Gordon, I did. Um, did you get any Halloween candy? Julia, have you got some? Yeah, I got, I got Skittle and Sour Patch. Ooh, yum. Yum. I got Gordon, because I told Gordon last week that my sister ate most of the chocolate in our house, but um, we actually had another big pack that was hidden. So, got that, and my mom got, like, a big chips box, and then I've got some rockets, and I'm really excited to hand out the candy, because that's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm really excited for that. And then maybe tomorrow I'll go buy myself some candy on sale. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, everyone, is I'm just getting my tomato. I'm just going to put the tomato on this piece of toast here. So, um, Julia, do you are you dressing up for Halloween this year? Yeah, I'm, I'm dressing up as Wednesday. Ooh. Ooh, very cool. Very cool. Did you watch the show on Netflix? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, oh did you like it? Well, yeah, it was good. <laughs> I'm guessing if you're dressing up, probably. <laughs> yeah. Did you do anything? I made Halloween cookies. I made Halloween cookies. Ooh, yum. What makes a cookie a Halloween cookie? Like, did it look like a Halloween cookie or like? Something? Yeah, like I make different uh, shapes. Like I made a ghost one. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I love that. Okay, you guys. So I put my tomato on my toast. Now, what I'm doing next is I'm going to peel my cheese string into small little pieces so I can make sort of a web shape on it. Okay. Da -da 
da, da. So peeling my cheese string. So you made a ghost cookie. Is there any other types you made? I made, I made like the, there were a Pennywise I tried to make and a Harley Quinn one. Really, really cool. How did you make that into a cookie? Like, there. I found a recipe. I found a recipe online. That's so cool. Really cool. I love that. Okay, everyone. Yeah. So I've peeled the cheese string. I've peeled my cheese string like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a web shape, okay? So I've got the tomato on the toast. I'm just going to make a web shape. However, so anyone can do as they wish, but I'm going to just, you can put it however you like, all over. But I've just, I've started like this, like this. So I'm just going to maybe do like a circle. See, oh, I think this kind of looks like a web. I don't know what you guys think. I think maybe, maybe kind of look like a, a wheel. Yeah, that looks like a spider. Oh, but, but once you put this on, and once I was thinking we should melt it. Do you think we should melt it? Melt this cheese. I think maybe if we melt it, it would taste better. But, okay, so I've. Made my kind of spider web for everyone to see. This is okay. I don't know. <laughs> Eden says it's cute. I don't know. Maybe. Um, but that's the web. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take out some of these olives. And these are pre sliced olives. So it's a little bit easier to use these because they're already in these perfect little circular shapes. So I've just got these little pre sliced olives. I'm just going to take. Julia, how many spiders do you think I should make? Two. two? Okay. Take out two of these. Over. And I'm also going to take out another few of them. Cut them to make the leg. Make the spiders are so they have six different. So I'm just going to use my knife and I'm just going to cut one into like a piece like this in half another one in half and another one in half so i've got six legs going on so if i just show you guys this is what i have going on oh i know julia i like your ears too <laughs> she didn't said she likes your ears julia thank you it's a pretty ear i got oh they're so so cute! I love them! I love the sparkle! Hey you guys, wait. I can't look and write. Oh, Julia, Gordon says, how are you, Julia? I'm good, how are you? So I'm just laying out my legs of the spiders. It's a little bit diff more difficult than I thought, but I think I'm doing it. Okay, so I've got one spider done, and I'll show you guys. I just need to cut some more legs for my other spider. <laughs> Gordon, are you going to be handing out candy tonight? Oh, you're doing good, Gordon. That's great. How's everyone else doing? Is everyone else doing good? Now, Julia, do you have a favorite Halloween candy that you're excited to get? Um, probably, like, you know those, like, candy that, like, the hamburger candy? Oh, I love those. No, those are great. Oh, I know which ones you're talking about. The ones that, like, they're candy, but they're, like, like they're all in, like, those little, little, like, they're in, like, little plastic box sort of thing. Yeah. I, yeah, 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 those are great. Those are great. I think they... That's a, like, they got, like, I don't know, maybe a pizza, maybe, not too sure. Okay, Julia, I, th I think this kind of looks like a web now. I don't know, you can give me your thoughts, but I think, I think it's, I'm pulling it off now. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so this is our next one. So that was really simple. All you do is you just put some tomato, any type of tomato, ketchup, any type of tomato you have. 
Then I peeled a cheese string, made a web shape, and then I got two of the little circles, and then I cut up four halves, actually, no, uh, six, ha uh, six of them, and I made them into the halves. Aw, uh, thanks, Anna. Thank you. So I'm just going to move my already finished ones onto a plate like this, okay? Just so I keep my space nice and clear. Oh, Gordon, are you going to be a vampire? That's so cool. That's so cool. Um, Julia, what's your favorite Halloween costume that you've ever had before? I think a Pikachu one I had when I was like 15. Oh, I love Pikachu. My would be when I was like in grade five or six. Um, do you, have you, has anyone read the Harry Potter books? Has anyone? I read all of them. You read all of them? Do you know Bellatrix Strange? Yeah. Okay. I'm in like grade five. I'm still kind of obsessed. But when I was in like grade five, uh, I started up uh, as for like DIY my whole class. So I got all, like my outfit from like Valley Village. I found like a dress, and then like, I did my thing. And then because my hair was already curly, what I did was I eased my hair. So I got a brush, and I went like this all through my hair, and it was like huge and crazy. And I drew like her dark mark tattoo on my arm, and I made my own wand. I think that's my favorite because it's the time that I got to go and do it all myself. So I think I I like that one the most. Um, now, you guys, what should we do next? Should we make the Frankenstein next or the mummy? The mummy. I've got here all the mummies, I think, one of the easier ones. It just, you gotta cut a little bit. So, um, I'm starting off with just some plain cream cheese. I just got my cream cheese. I'm just gonna spread it on the bread, kind of like I just did with my, um, my peanut butter. I'm just spreading the cream cheese onto the toast. Um, is everyone, is anyone in this chat going trick or treating too? Anyone have, have any cool costumes they want to share with us that they're going to be this year? Are you? Going trick or treating alone, Julia? Or are you going with some friends? I'm going with my little cousin. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Yes. She just, she just, she just came up as my little cousin. Oh, oh, that's amazing. That's so cute. So we've got a wet, uh, uh, Um, how old's your cousin? She's four. She's four. That's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like my older cousin too. So I, when I would go out. Ooh, Eden's got a really cool costume. She's Tanya from the White Lotus TV show. That's really cool. Okay, everyone, so I've got my cucumber. I just cut, I'm cutting the tips off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice it lengthwise, okay? So this is where we need to be a little bit careful because they're handling knives. And I know with me, I'm a little clumsy. So I always find I accidentally cut myself. So we're not going to do that today. Um, even though I know it's Halloween, so maybe it would be on theme, but that would be a little bit scary. Uh, but I'm just cutting lengthwise some slices like this, okay? So as thin as I can. If you've got like a peeler, Julia, do you know what I'm talking about? Those little peeler things? Yeah. yeah. If you've got one of those, that could work too, okay? So I'm just slicing these like this. Just lengthwise. So it'll stick on. And then, now, if I just go back to my reference photo. Okay, so now, I'm just gonna place them 
kind of like that. See? So we've got our bummy shape. And then we're going to use our trusty dusty olives. So I hope you guys like olives because these use a lot of olives for the eyes. Julia, do you like olives? Why not to share? She can hear me. Can everyone else? Sorry, right, what do you say? Do you like olives? No, not really. Not really? Yeah, I know. See, that's the thing. It's a more of an acquired taste. So the, the fact that blood olives is it? Not really. What's up? Okay. I'm gonna lose connection for a little bit because I'm going up the elevator, but I will no stay right back. No problem. You can try and join. So this is my next one, the mummy. So I've got cream cheese. I sliced my cucumbers lengthwise, and then I put the two uh, circles for the eyes. Okay, our two little olives. Maybe you could use. I'm not too sure what else you could use for olives. I guess you could use chocolate chips again, but I don't know if chocolate chips would go with cream cheese and cucumber, so um, that's okay. And then now I'm just gonna make my last one, which is my Frankenstein. So all the things. Um, so we've got an issue, you guys. Yesterday, when I got all of my materials, I realized the avocado that I had was completely raw. So I went back to the store and I got some guacamole. Now, pre-done guacamole will make it easier. Yes, um, especially if you've got a hard avocado like me. My avocado is like as hard as a rock, so there's no way I would have been able to cut through it. But we're gonna we're gonna make do with this. We're gonna make do with the um, guacamole. Um, and instead, what you would do if you have the avocado, if you have the original materials, you get the avocado, you would cut it in half. You'd scoop out the inside, okay? And you would smush the inside onto your bread, okay? So again, you get your avocado, you'd cut it in half, you'd scoop out the inside and smush the inside onto your bread, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to get my pre-bought guacamole. I'm a little bit of a cheater, um, but it's not for a lack of trying. And I'm just going to go and spread this to get the Frankenstein's green face on here. Yes, Gordon, we'll let you know when your next Inst uh, Instagram Live on a Tuesday is. I'll let you know. Um, I'm not too sure if it's just Julia who is disconnecting. Can everybody hear me? I think she might be in the elevator. Can everyone else hear me in the chat? Just making sure it's not my, my internet because my internet's been pretty wonky. Yeah, I can still hear you. You can hear me? Okay, perfect. So just because you were in the, it didn't even kick you out. That's pretty good. So this is my green body for my Frankenstein. Now, this is the little tricky part with the seaweed. So I've got the seaweed here. Oh, thanks, Gordon. Thanks, everyone. You guys can all hear me. That's great. Um, so I've got my seaweed here. And I'm just going to kind of rip it into these triangular pieces, okay? Because we want to get our Frankenstein's hair. So I've got my seaweed. I'm just going to to rip it triangularly just like this okay so i'm just gonna lay these at the top my little triangles and i'll show you i'm gonna lay my little triangles like this so we get the frankenstein's hair okay so we've got some I'm going to fill in the little sparse patches. Happy Halloween, everyone. I don't want my Frankenstein to be balding. Not that there's anything wrong with balding, but I want to give him a nice hairline here. Okay. So I've laid my seaweed on. Now, the next part I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I don't know if I can cut this seaweed well. Mm -hmm. Maybe not to make the mouth. But I'm gonna try and rip it so it's I've got some lines. And I'm just gonna rip a few smaller pieces to make some smaller lines, but just to have it go to make his mouth. I've laid one longer piece out. 
I'm just laying some smaller pieces vertically. So I've got one piece that is horizontal and the other one's vertical. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm trying my best, everyone. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. So I think I've got the hair in the mouth of my Frankenstein. What do you guys think? I think it looks kind of realistic, hopefully. Now we just got to add the eyes. So for my eyes, I'm using my favorite things again, these olives. I'm just going to place one olive here. It's hard to do this with one hand, sorry you guys. Using one olive here. I'm just getting my other olive and placing it right beside it. And this is it. This is uh, my last Frankenstein. So I'm just gonna show everyone like this. It looks good so far, thanks, Anna. And I'm gonna show you guys all my final creations because as you saw, it's really easy. And as Julia showed us, even if you don't have some of the ingredients, you can make it do with whatever you have, right? And there's so, so many different options for us to make. And now, I think this is pretty healthy. I think I've got a healthy lunch. Well, so that means tonight, I'm going to indulge on all my treats. Um, so this is the last final product. I'm not too sure if you guys can see them well. I don't want them to fall. Let's see if I can show you guys like this. Just like this. These are the last ones. We've got the ghost. We got the Frankenstein. We got the mummy. And we got my spider web. I think they look pretty cute. I don't know what you think, Julia. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, they look good. Thank you. Um, so this is it for everyone. Uh, this is me coming to the end of the line. This was the end of the activity. Julia, thank you so much for joining me today. And I love the <laughs> cat ghost. Um, I love how adaptable you were. These are the last final ones. Um, and I hope everybody has an amazing Halloween. If you're going out trick-or-treating, make sure you stay safe um, and have a lot, a lot of fun. And I hope everyone um, dresses up and gets in the Halloween spirit. Okay, everyone. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye Julia. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Halloween. Bye. Good night and have a lot of fun. Bye.